here's a socialist on the line. I have to take him, David from Minneapolis. Thanks for taking my call, Rose. Sure. I've heard a lot of I've heard a lot of voices on the right lately, and it's it seems like a lot of false hope. And what I'm hearing is, oh, you know, come come to midterms. Oh, you know, maybe come the presidential election in 2024. And it sounds like they're just disconnected from reality. And the reality is this, that we have the machines, we have the courts, and we have the media. And the game is over. It, you had a good run, 200 and some odd years. Great. But now it's over with. And there's nothing that can be done about it. If, if you have no place to redress, no place to, to air your grievances, in other words, no court, then there's nothing left for you to accept, to, just to accept it and move on. And there's going to be a lot of disappointed people in the next 18 months, but I'm here to say right now, in 18 months, Sean Hannity and others like him will not have a TV show, they will not have a radio show, and that's just all there is to it. Um, so, okay, David. Hey, hold, hold, news. Let me. Okay, let me ask you a couple of questions. I let you um, share everything that was on your heart and mind. So I've got a question for you. Number one, you said you have. You said we have the machines. We have the media. Who are you referring to? The people behind the levers of power. That these machines have been around for a while. We have been waiting and watching for the, the right opportunity. And it finally came, and the fix is in, and that's it. That's all there is to Wait, it. Wait, are, are you machine. telling me that you're on the side of 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 the? Are you, are you telling me I, that you're on the side of the, I, the? That's absolutely why I called. The the, the ends justify the means. Are you, aren't you like opinion. kind of exposing? Aren't you like pulling the curtain away and exposing all of this, or oh, you're admitting that no, you? I mean, they, like, aren't your fellow socialists and everyone else going to be really ticked off at you for like saying, "Yeah, we really did steal anymore. the election." Not anymore. That's it's too late for that. that Dude, are you serious? Like, is this a serious well. call? Or are you like punking me here? No, like, Rose, is this a I'm, serious I'm call? Absolutely serious. Absolutely. And here's one, just one last thing. I keep hearing people say, "Well, what about the 80 million? And and don't you want to reunite and reach out? You don't get it. We don't need you anymore. We don't care. We don't want to unite with you. We want to destroy every single one of you. So that's. That's, oh my God! I can't even believe I'm hearing this. Like you're saying it out loud. You're saying, I mean, like maybe it's said behind closed doors. Are you kidding me? If you, if you listen closely, they've been saying it for quite a while. I'm, I'm just one of those. Are you playing in, like the devil's advocate here? You're kind of playing the devil's advocate. Absolute, I think. No, 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 ma'am. I, I will be respectful, and, and I will not. Re, you know, I'm not going to resort. Well, to, it's not respectful to, when you to, say you don't care that. about 80 million people. That's not respectful. It's not respectful when you tell us that you don't want to work. Although you're not telling us anything that we didn't already know or suspect. Right. It's just amazing to exactly. me that someone on the left is actually being honest about what they're all about. Well, how much love do you think that the 80 million have for people like myself? There's absolutely well, well, no. Let me ask you this: How much? No, no. That's not the question. The question is: How much hate do you believe that that 80 million people have for you? Because I don't hate you. Okay, I, I'm concerned okay. by you and what you what maybe, you. Uh, maybe hate's a strong word. Maybe hate's a strong word. It, they have a contempt that knows no bounds. No, no, no. And Who has the contempt, reasons. David? You have the contempt. Both sides. Both sides, Rose. Both sides have the contempt equally. I'm not doubt. I'm not trying to dis to deny my contempt for your side, but your side has it just as deeply rooted as mine does. Okay. Let me ask you a question. I mean, I'm, I'm loving this. I mean, I can't, as, as long as I'm not being punked right now, uh, let me ask you a question, David, do you, I can, I can hear my, I think you have a radio on in the background. If you could just turn that down, but David, here's my question for you. Do you not love the Republic and everything that it stood for for the last 244 years? There was a watershed moment of my life that changed my views completely. And I'm not going to go with you, you get into the nitty gritty details because it doesn't really matter. There are millions of people who have had experiences like that, like mine, that came to that conclusion long ago that the Republic, so to speak, is nothing but crony capitalism. It's taking advantage of one group to the advantage of another. And I'm sick of it. I'm done with it. I'm done. And if that means the utter destruction, tearing it down and rebuilding it, great. Then so be it. 
and, and let the cards and the chips fall where they may. It doesn't matter to me anymore. It doesn't matter to you. Do you have kids? Do you have children? I do not. I do not. Okay, well, that's probably a very big reason why it doesn't matter to you, because what we fight for, we fight for for future generations, just like it was fought for us. What we fight for is freedom. And if you are okay with giving up your freedom to a government that is completely out of control, that wants to continue to make themselves bigger and stronger, which means then they are taking away all the power from the people. This country was founded on the idea that, first of all, that we are free. Just like the story I told about the young man who was at the time a young man, a student at Tiananmen Square, he knew even though he couldn't live a free life, there was something within him that said, I must be free. He knew that. He felt it. Even though he didn't experience freedom, he knew it, that that he must and be I, free. I could I understand the sentiment. I just want to leave one, one parting message when you said that I'll give up my freedom I won't, Rose, I won't be the one giving up my freedom. It will be you and your side. You're, you're the ones whose freedom. Yeah, and what freedom will you have left, my friend? Because once they take it away from us, what will you have? You tell me. What freedom will you have once it's been taken away from the rest of us? What is the freedom that you think you'll be holding on to? The difference between the haves and the have-nots at that point. Yeah, and you know that it's just a ruling elite. That will be the haves. You do know that, right? Unless you intend on becoming one of the ruling elite. And good luck with that. The, the, the ruling elite has been around since this country's founded. Yeah, well, you're going to see away. you're going to see a lot more disparity be- between the, the the classes than you ever have before. Absolutely, we will. Absolutely, and that is okay with you. Part of the plan. That's all part of the part plan. of what plan? I, I, to what end? What is your I'll, end, I'll David? I need to know the end. What's the end? What's the end game? Tell me quick. I ma- have a minute. A massive, a massive global reset on a scale that people can't even imagine now. They think that they can. They think they can conjure it up in their little brain, but they have no idea what's coming for them. None. Yeah, a world of oppression. I can tell you. I can tell you. It's a world of oppression. That's what you're talking about, and you're okay with that. You said it. You I'm said you were okay with that. Fine. I am, and I'll stand by it. Because you don't want anybody else to have more than you have, right? You can't handle that. You want everybody to be as miserable. I got mine a long time ago. I got mine a long time ago. I'll be just fine. Well, and the hell with everybody else, right, David? To hell with everybody else. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is like the craziest. All right. Well, thank you. Um, I don't know if socialists like to hear Merry Christmas, but um, wow. Was that real? Seriously, was that real? Dude, I don't even know. Oh, my gosh. All right, stay with us. Um, I can't believe the show is almost over. I love being here with all of you. I'm going to be back next Tuesday. I'm coming back next Tuesday. So make sure that you tune in all week because we have great people and a lot of good stuff on the program. And uh, make sure you check me out on social media. It's Rose Unplugged everywhere, just about everywhere. Oh, my God.